Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to walk you through how to use Coin Control in Envoy. Before we get started, I just want to briefly cover off what Coin Control is and why it is an important tool to have in your arsenal. For those of you that already understand the theory, skip to the timestamp shown on screen. Your Bitcoin wallet balance is comprised of many pieces of Bitcoin called coins. Coins are often referred to by the technical community as UTXOs or unspent transaction outputs. How many coins you have and what size each of them are depends entirely on how you have used your wallet in the past. When any amount of Bitcoin is transacted from one person to another, the amount will be comprised of one or more coins from the sender's wallet. In the context of a transaction, these coins are known as inputs. If the sender creates a spend by simply entering an amount and pressing go, their wallet will automatically select which of the available coins are used as inputs to make the transaction. Which coins are chosen depends on the predetermined algorithm which is unique to each type of wallet. In the same scenario, if the sender were to manually select the coins they wanted to be used as inputs when constructing a spend transaction, they would be said to be using coin control. So why would anybody want to do this in the first place? When a user has a wallet account that is used for many different types of transactions, a wallet can quickly accumulate coins with varying histories from varying sources. In such a scenario, the user may not find it desirable to show common ownership of those coins by allowing them to be spent together. Without coin control, it is impossible to ensure that your wallet does not combine such coins when constructing spend transactions. Once coins are properly categorized or labeled, a user can make educated decisions when constructing transactions, such that they only combine the coins they choose when spending. This is a powerful technique that can preserve your privacy when interacting with Bitcoin. This video is split into two main parts. The first will cover how to set the foundations by leveraging Envoy's powerful account management features known as tags and notes. The second part of this video covers off how to leverage this information to perform different types of coin control spending techniques to maintain your privacy whilst interacting with Bitcoin. The demonstrations that follow are carried out using a mobile wallet on testnet, but the steps shown are identical for any passport or mainnet accounts. Before you can use coin control effectively when spending, there must be some way to categorize the coins within your account. In Envoy, this is achieved by using tags. A tag is a user-defined label or category that can be applied to each coin. Here are some useful to remember tips around tags. Only one tag can be applied to each coin. This is to prevent conflicts when spending only from tags. Coins can be moved from one tag to another at any time. Any coins without a tag automatically fall within the untagged tag. Tags can be deleted at any time. And if a tag is not empty when it is deleted, the coins within will fall back to the untagged tag. To access our tags in Envoy, we simply need to enter the account and then tap on the tag icon just below the header. The first time you access this screen, all of your coins will be contained within the untagged tag. If I tap on untagged, I can see all of the coins contained within. In this scenario, I have five coins and they are automatically sorted largest to smallest. If I tap on any one coin, I can see more detailed information for that coin. Tapping on the gray area at any time will take me back to the previous screen. To apply a tag to a coin, Simply open the tag, enable the toggle for the coin or coins to be tagged, and then choose Tag Selected. Here we have a text entry screen where I can apply the tag to the coin. As you can see, we have some suggestions on screen, but you're free to type whatever you would like here. And as you can see, that coin has now been moved to the new groceries tag. You can also tag multiple coins at the same time by enabling the toggle of each coin to be tagged.
You can edit the name of a tag at any time by opening the tag, tapping the three dots in the top right, and then choosing Edit Tag Name. Once you're happy with the amendment, simply tap Save. To delete a tag, simply open the tag, tap the three dots, and then choose Delete. And as you can see, that coin has now moved back to the untagged tag. If you think you've given a coin or coins the wrong tag, rather than deleting the tag, you can simply move the coin from one tag to another like this. Open the tag, select the coin or coins to be retagged, choose Retag Selected, and then you can pick from the most used list. And the coins will be moved to the relevant tag. Envoy also allows you to lock tags or coins. Locking tags or coins will prevent them from being used in transactions. Locking these items can act as another form of coin control that allows you to quickly create simple spends that exclude only those locked coins. To lock all of the coins within a tag, all you need to do is navigate to the tag view and tap the lock next to the tag to be locked. To unlock, all you need to do is tap the copper colored lock. If you only want to lock certain coins, just head into the tag and tap the lock next to the coin to be locked. The lock on the tag view will only show as locked when all of the coins within are locked. And as you can see, as soon as a coin is locked, I am unable to toggle it to be selected for retagging or to be spent as part of a transaction. Notes are a secondary piece of information that can be applied to a coin or transaction. Notes can be useful to add additional context to the existence of a coin or transaction within your wallet. For example, you might have a coin within your groceries tag that was the change output of a spend at Walmart. You might find it useful to apply a note to that coin or transaction that says Walmart change that gives you the extra context on that specific coin or transaction without the need to create a brand new tag just for Walmart spends. Notes applied to a transaction will be shared with all coins involved and any notes applied to coins will also be shared with the relevant transaction and can be viewed within the transaction details view. To apply a note to a coin, all you need to do is head to the tag view, open the tag containing the coin that you want to add a note to, tap on the coin and then tap on the notes field at the bottom. Then you'll see a text box where you can add the specified note. And if we find that transaction within our list, we will see that the note has been shared with that transaction also. To apply a note to a transaction, simply head to the activity view Tap on the transaction you would like to add a note to, and then tap on the notes field at the bottom. From here, you can add the specified note. And then tap save. And we should be able to see the same note displayed on the relevant coin that was involved in the transaction. Once you have your coins tagged, there are multiple ways in which you can practice coin control within Envoy. You do not need to choose a single one. Each of these approaches can be used interchangeably depending on your requirements at the time, and all apply to both mobile wallets and passport accounts alike. The approaches we're about to cover are spending from a tag or tags, 
spending from specific coins, and edit transaction. So let's take a look at how we can spend from a tag. Spending from a tag is the equivalent of saying to your wallet, I want you to send this amount of Bitcoin. I don't care how you construct the transaction, just choose only from these coins. To do that, select the tag that you want to spend from, then choose send selected. Paste the address you would like to send to, and then enter the amount of Bitcoin you would like to send. Once you're happy, tap confirm. You'll then see the transaction summary screen. From here, you can customize your fee rate. And once you're ready, you can tap send transaction. Envoy will ask if you would like to add a note to the transaction. Once you've added the note, you can tap save and your transaction will be automatically broadcast if spending from a mobile account. If I tap back into the activity view, I can see the outbound transaction awaiting confirmation by the network. So next up, let's have a look at how we can spend from specific coins. To do this, we navigate to the tags view Head into the tag containing the coin that we want to spend from and enable the toggle. If at this stage you wanted to choose additional coins, you could just navigate to the specific tag and then enable the toggle for those coins also. Once you finish making your selection, you can tap send selected. Once again, we're just going to paste the address. Enter the amount of Bitcoin to be sent and then tap confirm. Once again, we can review the transaction details, select our fee rate and then choose send transaction. Once again, Envoy will ask you if you'd like to add a note. And then the transaction is broadcast to the network. If I head back to activity, I can see the second transaction awaiting confirmation. And finally, let's take a look at how we can use coin control via the edit transaction feature in Envoy. To do this, I'm going to create a simple spend without any upfront coin selection. To do that from either the activity or from the tag screen, all I'm going to do is tap send then I'm going to populate the address to be sent to. Once again, this can be done by pasting or scanning a QR code. Then I'm going to enter the amount that I would like to send and then tap confirm. From here, I can review the transaction details, select my fee rate, but this time I'm going to choose edit transaction. From here, we can see the coins and tags that have been automatically selected by the wallet to be used in this transaction. But let's say I wasn't happy with the automatic selection and I wanted to change that. From here, all I need to do is enable or disable the toggles for the coins that I do or do not want to be part of the transaction. In the bottom sheet, you can see two lines. We have required amount, which was specified by me when I constructed the transaction. In this scenario, that is 56,000 sats. And then below that, we have the currently selected amount, which changes based on the currently selected tags or coins. So in this scenario, I'm not happy that it's spending from two different tags. So I'm just going to turn both of those off and then I'm going to turn on my untagged tag, which has a single coin in it, much larger than the required amount. Once I'm happy with my amended selection, I can tap continue, have a final review of all of the details. And then once I'm happy, I can tap send transaction. Again, Envoy is going to ask me to add a note to the transaction. And then the transaction will be broadcast to the network. So now you know how to leverage the new powerful coin management features within Envoy 
to improve your privacy when interacting with Bitcoin. Just remember, your ability to make detailed spending decisions in the future is reliant on using robust tagging and note strategies today. If you have any questions about coin control, feel free to reach out to our support team at hello at foundationdevices.com or to book yourself onto a personalized concierge call with our in-house Bitcoin expert to further discuss how you can leverage coin control with Envoy and Passport.